Now Tennessee, about a touchdown favorite, goes into Pittsburgh trying to get that win. We have folks out here who've already put them on, on upset alert here. Yeah, like I said in the last segment, I, I really think you're going to see a similar game that you, we saw last year. 75 points scored. It could be more than that. We know that Tennessee's offense is going to score. They're going to basically score on everybody they play. You add to the fact that Pat Narduzzi's aggressive, play a lot of man-to-man. -man. We know that Hendon Hooker's going to get his. The key to me in this game is can Slovis and his receivers stay up against that Tennessee secondary. That's going to be the key, but it's a shootout. And they were they were up and down versus yeah. versus West Virginia. I, yeah. I, I didn't see enough to go, I, I think they can win a shootout. Right. Tennessee, man, they're fun. They're, they're they going to be fun to watch at they all. They really levels. are. It's yeah. just going to be interesting. Exactly. I'm, Des, you talked about Florida and the SC East. Yeah. Tennessee, another team that Tennessee, Kentucky, and Florida teams with take you. a challenge. Jordan. I think with Tennessee's you. knocking on the door, too. My concern with uh, Pitt is we were at the West Virginia game, and like you said, Narduzzi is aggressive. He likes to leave his corners out there on an island. It may be bomb away. I think this game, they're going to have to approach it a little bit differently because we all know Tennessee is going to score high-octane offense. You might be a little conservative on the back end because you don't want to expose your, your defensive backs to one-on-one -on -one coverage all day. I know that's an interesting thought because with Aaron Donald's donation to the University of Pittsburgh, they've become a defensive line juggernaut. Yeah. And I think yeah. the way they're looking at it, the reason why they put the people on the island is because that D-line is going to get to the quarterback. They can get home. I think they're going to have to, and I think Pitt's also going to have to run the ball well to keep the offense off of the field for Tennessee. Mm -hmm. I expect Pitt to put up a good fight. The Enzers are going to be hammered drunk, screaming their life <laughs> out. I think it's going to be a great environment, a great atmosphere, and I, you know, seven and a half is a lot of points, especially in Pittsburgh. I like what we're going to watch here. Yeah, uh, Pittsburgh yeah. ran the ball really well, especially yes. later yeah. on in the game against West Wait, Virginia. Wait, Narduzzi wants to run? Yeah, how about that? Yeah. Is that a surprise, too? Yeah. <laughs> it's hey, there was a Pittsburgh. $30 million dollar donation to be alongside the head coaching title at Pitt. Anything to win is what Narduzzi's ready to do. They're going to have to run the rock. Get Aaron yeah. Donald out there with two helmets. I like that. They try to keep Hooker on the sideline, for sure. Yeah, and everybody forgets they are the reigning ACC champions. After. Yes, they are. You know? <clears throat> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.